Um, hello, friends. I hope uh, I hope you can hear me. And um, I'm not sure about s seeing me, but uh, there we go. We'll put it over here. Well, here we are at that important new moon. And uh, we're always looking at a, a kind of uh, theme or motto for ourselves starting at the new moon because planting is done. Planting is done at the new moon. And then it comes to fruition at the full moon and then... Uh, um, again, retreat towards the new moon where a new planting is occurring. So I'm happy to uh, see you here. Just a few things to uh, begin with. To realize that the earth is the base of the spine center for the solar logos and that at this time a strong will line of energy uh, is available. So we want to bring our personality equipment uh, so often represented by the moon into a state of receptivity through purification. And we imagine then that, uh, I just want to make sure I can, white light, we imagine white light is sweeping through the physical body. Through the etheric body. Through the astral body. Through the lower mental vehicle and through the personality as a whole. We are gradually um, wearing away the influence of the moon among the non-sacred planets the moon is considered to reveal the physical nature the earth the etheric nature um, Mars is connected with the astral nature and with other other things. Pluto, interestingly, with the mental nature. And, well, Mercury as a whole with the personality. Our goal is to work closer and closer to cultivating the individual Christ and the group Christ, the mind as it is in Christ, and the Christ of the different nations 
and the cities in which we live. And finally, the Christ within humanity. So we are moving towards Christ in you, the hope of glory. We try to feel ourselves away from the usual lesser identifications away from preoccupation a limiting preoccupation with the personality and its vehicles and we imagine we feel ourselves um, in the presence of the soul on its own plane. We are establishing ourselves imaginatively as the soul with a deep sense of group soul, as the soul is indeed group conscious. So at least we visualize at least we visualize that as we merge ourselves into the group soul which is real. It is the true soul. And we imaginatively, as we enter that soul realm, think of the spiritually minded people of the world. The uh, men and women of goodwill and the members of the new group of world servers. We are linked in soul with them. And something proper to realize is there are all the different categories of these people. And not all are yet members of the new group of world servers, but there are many aspirants who are men and women of goodwill. And somehow we are realizing ourselves as linked with them. A very important realization is of the one soul of humanity. It's from Rule 5 in the Rays and the Initiations. There is no my soul and thy soul. That's a big realization deeply realize that there is not but me, not is but me.
not his, but me. A profound and necessary realization. So we think of the Antikarana using a great word of power. <clears throat> it's the word of power of the second ray. And our Antikarana is largely colored at this point with indigo light for the sake of the group the great synthetic energy and we think to ourselves I see the greatest light as we project along the Antikarana and through a pool of retained energies around the mental unit we think, um, I see the greatest light. So as we project um, using the word Om, the sacred word, we're projecting that beam of white light. And we imagine the group as the recipient of hierarchical energy. My ohms are not very good these days, but just bear with me. I see the greatest light. Now, when we make such a, a projection, we can become the recipients of hierarchical energy. We think about
the power of Shambhala at this time and how it is overcoming the dense physicality that the moon represents. Let's think of Shambhala from this great reference. It is a world of pure energy, of light, and of directed force. It can be seen as streams and centers of force. All forming patterns of a pattern of consummate beauty. All potently invocative of the world of the soul and of the world of phenomena and it therefore constitutes in a very real sense the world of causes and of initiations. We're talking about the council chamber as it is located in its most concentrated form for us on the Logoic Plane. Now, our task is to either work with a seed we have already planted because this is the new moon of planting or to choose something new. So perhaps you remember what you've been working with and, and can make that decision. We're planting at this time a seed of the individual. What will be the seed we plant for our own consciousness and behavior? We are planting to support a seed for our group or the groups with which we work. What will that seed be? Make note of these, whether on a side piece of paper or however you may do it. We are planting a seed in relation to the 
emerging soul quality of our nation within the United Nations. And as we review the condition of humanity as a whole, with uh, so much love and harmony needed and yet threatened by um, autocracy, and the love of power for its own sake. We plant a seed. In our consciousness and a seed that we can work on uh, in our groups, especially. Bringing humanity closer to its soul expression. Now let's remember what we are planting or whether we are using, um, revisiting, working further upon what we planted before. Now we imagine the group, the group we are forming here, as to some degree a recipient of the energy of divine purpose from Shambhala. And we know that that uh, purpose can be delivered to us by the three great lords at the height of hierarchy and by their advanced initiate workers. A whole new type of life can begin for us and for our associates, uh, hopefully within the 
new group of world servers. And we can be the recipients of hierarchical inspiration, which is delivered to them, to the three great lords, by the Nirmanakayas, who are representing Shambhala. It's a different way of living. So let the group now be as open as may be possible to the energy of divine purpose working through the divine plan which can in some small measure reach us the substance of the plan and think of ways meditatively in which you individually and within your groups can aid esoterically uh, in the expression of the divine purpose and the divine plan. Now, telepathic impression is one of those ways, but let us not forget that intelligent conversation with people who stand on the periphery of moving from the red toward the indigo through the purple, we might say, they can be intelligently approached and the true nature of things esoterically understood can be delivered to them. So when the Tibetan said, 
some of you seem to think that in order to take initiation, you must not speak. That is a distortion. To speak to the right people along lines that can be understood by them and to speak in the right way is one of the major methods of helping the divine plan to manifest, even if at, well, quite a uh, confined level as far as humanity is concerned. So we visualize positive changes occurring as we receive <clears throat> the divine impression or are spoken to by certain teachers, such as the Tibetan, who informs us of the truth. And this second of the great invocations, once used so effectively in the winter of 1942, can be reapplied at this time by all of us as we seek liberation for humanity. Let the Lords of Liberation issue forth. Let them bring succor to the sons of men. Let the rider from the secret place come forth and coming save. Come forth, O mighty one. And that is the Kalki avatar that the Christ uh, now embodies. He is the rider on the white horse of the purified personality. Let the souls of men awaken to the light, and may they stand with masked intent. Let the fiat of the Lord go forth. The end of woe has come. Come forth, O mighty one. The hour of service of the saving force has now arrived. Let it be spread abroad, O mighty one. Let light and love and power and death fulfill the purpose of the coming one. The will to save is here. The love to carry forth the work is widely spread abroad. The active aid of all who know the truth is also here. Come forth, O mighty one, and blend these three. 
the rule of evil. Construct a great defending wall. The rule of evil now must end. And we can be part of that. And in our own radiation, construct a great defending wall. Now, we're very close to the moment of the exact new moon. So, I think we can meditate. It occurs in just about five minutes, and uh, when it occurs, I'll ask Tuya to uh, hit the hit the bell, which will help us know the moment. But for right now, we will think about this new moon in Capricorn and how important it can be uh, for those who are working towards initiation and are helping others work in the same way. So let us ponder.
lost am I in light supernal, yet on that light I turn my back. Eventually, uh, there will be the wearing away of the dense outer lunar uh, crust of the various planets and the true physicality of the planet will be etheric. Now, we don't expect that to happen immediately, but gradually, rather. So let us sound the great invocation, and hopefully you can hoping you can see this. <clears throat> Thinking of the improvements all over the world that can occur when the light, the love, and the will of God can be taken responsibly uh, into effect by spiritualized human beings. from the point of light within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. from the point of love within the heart of God. Let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. from the center where the will of God is known. Let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. from the center, which we call the race of men. Let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power 
restore the plan on earth and um, yeah that's where I want to go and we can sound the ohm as we visualize these positive results Friends that want to, uh, to you and I and Michael Crow and uh, Anne and so many of us, we want to thank you for attending this um, new moon meditation in the powerful sign Capricorn. Now we will be in Capricorn for quite a while and we can work with that energy. Remembering how on a much higher scale the Christ in the garden um, anchored the first real thread of the will of God for humanity. We'll do it in our own little way. And of course not on not on the same level, of course. I'm just trying to find my uh, my mouse somehow oh, there it is at least I thought it was okay so let us um, become as familiar with this sign working through the wearing away of all obstacles. That's what initiation does. And Capricorn is the sign of initiation. Wearing away the obstacles to the elevation, the uh, The idea of the group progress that we can make under the fifth law of the soul. Take it seriously. As Tuya has said, we don't have much time left in the era of the forerunner. Not much time remains. Just a few more. Uh, opportunities. But let us be attentive to what Master DK may bring forward. Um, 
starting around the year 2025 because it will be instrumental in helping humanity take the first initiation. And when the Christ actually does reappear in his Maya Rupa, his will-created body, it will indicate that um, humanity has uh, taken that first initiation. I mean, obviously, individually, not all members of the human race, but many to leaven the entire mass. To you, is there anything you would like to say before we uh, before we close? Blessed and happy new year to everybody. Okay. This will be available uh, soon because we are, after all, in those energies and we want to work with them and uh, take the responsibility, take it very uh, seriously, be attentive. Telepathically, much may come through and just simply reading the Tibetans' material as conveyed to us by his uh, brilliant and self-sacrificing amanuensis, Alice Bailey, will do uh, so much good. So much good. Okay, then I'm going to ask then that Michael remain on for a minute. We will dismiss everybody else and uh, ponder ponder upon the um, especially the political situations in the world which are so connected with Capricorn and how we may improve them. <laughs>